Well, hello. This is a video I'm going to do on my Fangoria, Gore Zone, um, several comics, Tales from the Crypt. Just thought I'd show some of these that I have. A little shake it up, a little bit something different than just the masks. Um, push this back a little bit. Uh, and yes, this is me. On oh, motherfucking camera. Finally. Um, I guess we'll go through. It's hard. I'm not going to show every individual one because it'll take too long, but maybe some of my favorites. We're going to go through, um, let's go through some of these, uh, Fangorias first. Uh, my favorite issue ever, Fangoria number 10, Scanner's cover, classic. It's probably a glare on the damn bags, but, you know, whatever. Just going to show some of the my favorite ones, but this whole stack and this whole stack is mainly Fangoria. Um, there's some other stuff um, sprinkled throughout. Badass. Uh, this is number 25. Classic video drum cover. Another another awesome cover. I'm basically I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite covers. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do all the Fangorias first. Classic Amityville 3D cover. Nice distortions. Unlimited. Just add in the back never could have ordered these when I was a kid um, now you look back and a freaking mask was only like 54 bucks but back then in the 80s that was a lot might as well have been $300 to me alright let's see right, we'll just go through and whatever comes out that I like I'll show you this is one of my favorite famous monsters of film line covers number 129 the future world cover which, um, not the best, um, <clears throat> sequel, but, you know, Westworld is awesome, but I like Future World. And, uh, honestly, this is just almost, uh, probably one of my favorite covers ever of any magazine. It's just awesome. Yep. Yep. Let's see. We've got the Spasms cover. This is, um, number... 28, <coughs> excuse me, Fangoria number 28, Spasms, awesome, a lot of these I had as a kid, and then some later on I got through eBay and this and that, but most of these I had as a kid, and um, either got them in Barnes and Noble, well, actually it was B. Dalton Books back then, um, back when you could actually physically go buy things. Um, the good old days. Um, and then some I got through, you know, comic stores and different crap. Uh, that's a cool cover. The Dead Heat one. And this is one of many Distortions Unlimited I, I, ads I would look at as a kid. And, uh, God, I wanted that, 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 that rotted corpse. Grizzle. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's see. One of the most classic covers to me ever. Not a great movie, but the Rawhead Rex cover. I mean, it's a good monster movie, but definitely not what was in the book. But, still good. Alright. Most of these are famous monsters I'm going through. No. Getting a little drinky food, bud. Mm. Right, I don't know if any of you have ever seen the old Twilight Zone magazine that was out in the 80s. Pretty cool. I picked up some of these in comic shops when I was a kid and recently. 
Uh, I didn't see too many. I really don't remember these too too much as a kid, but I picked up some later on. Not making sense there, but whatever. So cool, Gore Zone basket case too. That's a classic. Another classic Distortions Unlimited ad. It's a freaking rotted vampire that I would dream about having as a kid and could never order it. But whatever. Got some creepies in here. There's way way too many to go through each one. I'm just kind of showing some of the stuff I have. I love this Twilight Zone cover. Uh, this is issue June 1984. Um, I don't know what issue it is, but um, Shatner on the front, classic episode. I love it. Do I look insane? Um, this is an awesome, awesome EC Comics. One of the best covers ever, I think. The crime suspense stories. Classic, classic, classic. I love it. Alright. Another Twilight Zone. Awesome. Rod Serling on the cover. It's a good magazine. Good stories. Good stuff. I right, some Rue Morgs in here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, some Horror Hounds. To me, the best Horror Hound cover ever. It's almost like a classic Basil Go-Go from Famous Monsters. Like, same kind of artwork. I love how they did this. Best, one of the best covers ever of anything to me. Yep. Original fuck remakes. Fuck any chainsaw massacre that's not the original. Well, I like part two, but you know what I mean. Let's see what we got here. A bunch of horror hounds, horror hounds, horror hounds. Yep. Creep show, comic book, of course. Awesome. King on the back. Things awesome. Oh, these are two. I forgot. I almost forgot these. Two of the coolest uh, famous monster covers ever, I think. And again, this video has no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of showing off of some of my magazine collection and little things I have here. I mean, like I said, we got three or four stacks like this. I'm not going to go through every one. Just kind of showing some stuff I have. Something different. Switch it up from the just the masks. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Rue Morgs. Rue Morgs. Creepies. More, more creepies. Um, good old Eeries. Uh, let's see. I'll show you some more of my thing. Weird. Okay. Here's a cool weird science I have. I have a, a few of the EC, old EC Comics, the 70s uh, reissues they did, which are awesome. Some more of my older Fangorias. I mean, you just can't beat the Fangorias in the 80s. The covers are just awesome. 50th issue. Just awesome cover. See. Now this was actually January of uh, this is before Fangoria came out again. This was like towards the end of the whoever was controlling it towards the end of like 2014. But one of the still the magazine had started to languish to me. But this cover might as well be a classic. It's just one of the awesome covers. It's a great cover. Old one, extra. It's issue number 24. Awesome Chainsaw Massacre Atari ad on the back. Atari game. I 
Oh, she's awesome. This, um, kind of rare, but I mean, maybe you can find them. Chaz Ballin, author in the 80s, and you know, he do columns and um, just awesome. No, big horror, horror uh, historian. Um, he had a magazine, Deep Red, and this is number one with From Beyond on the cover. That is just um, one of my one of my pride and joys in the magazine collection. That is just badass. What a cover. There's a good article on Chainsaw 2 in here, too, and Hooper making a comeback and that, whatever. Lost Boys, more Fangoria, more Fangoria, Fangoria, Hellraiser Fangoria cover. Awesome. I remember this ad on the back. Always wanted to order that shirt, but never did. Um, but it's awesome. Awesome cover. More Fangoria. Fangoria, Fangoria. Uh, it's a nice Haunt of Fear cover. That one's awesome. And then it's kind of a long video. Like I said, no rhyme or reason. I was just kind of showing some of the magazines that have different things. Let's see. Uh, and I'll just show some of these EC comics I have the, from the, the 70s re reissues that I like. Um, and then that'll be it for this one. I won't bore you all too much longer. Boom, 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 boom. Bear with me, bear with me. Alright. Just a bunch of different comics and stuff. I'm not going to go through all those. This little stack, I'll show you these because these are some of my favorites I have in the comics. And then we'll be done here. This is the Hellraiser number one comic. Got this at a, in a flea market. When I was, hmm, I don't know, yeah, I was, uh, I think I was in junior high, I was very young, but paid nothing for it, this thing is awesome, issue number one, then, the Night of the Living Dead, comic prelude, it's basically like a little pre-story that leads up to Barbara in the house, it's pretty cool. Great artwork. Um, cool tales from the crypt. Tales from the crypt reissue. These are all the seventies re reissues. One of my favorite covers ever. Do these together. We'll start speeding this up. We got Shock Suspense Stories and Tales from the Crypt. All these are the 70s reissues. <clears throat> Haunt of Fear. Awesome cover. Awesome cover. Got a, oh, got a weird fantasy. Weird science. And the best crime suspense stories cover ever. Love it. Got the tat. Got got it tattooed on me actually, right there. I don't know if you can see that well, but it's uh, there's the axe on the side, but it's awesome. One of the best covers ever. And we'll end this video with the Leatherface comic I have signed by Gunnar Hansen. Made him back in 01. Haunted House in Houston. Very cool. And um, 
have some more Fangoria's I have up on the wall, but I think this video's been long enough.